Hello guys, here is the second part of P51 video series. Today it will be about painting the cockpit. I create the oxygen hose from metal wire by twisting a thin 0.1mm wire around thicker one. One of the most common question is what type of paintbrush I am using. I usually use Tamiya brushes. They are not exactly the pro brushes, but they are relatively cheap and fairly good. For example, this one is called Finish Pointed Brush Small. And it is a little bit more expensive than Tamiya standard brush with wooden handle. This time I paint the dashboard by hand, since I do not have a photo edge part. It is very difficult to paint gadgets in this scale, so I rather use e decals. You can buy a decal sheet only with a gadget, but this one is from my one of my older model kits. I paint the rest with a paintbrush and acrylic color. I like white citadel paint, for it is very good coverage qualities. This brush is called height finish pointed brush. You can use a standard brush too, but it's much easier to work with this one. Other companies have usually brushes numbered by thickness, so that this one would be 3 times 0. I imitate the slides with clear enamel varnish. Now I have to paint a lot of little labels. I have a good practice with painting Space Marines Priority Seals from Warhammer 40k, because they are a lot of very small text too. If you know it, you know what I am talking about. US cockpits were always very luxurious and spacious. It is not like a Spitfire where there were connecting roads to rudders or fuselage construction under pilot's feet. The P-51 cockpit is more like a car interior, the floor was made from plywood covered with a rubber. I imitate the wood with untoned oil paint and let it dry for two days. You can see that I have accidentally painted some green parts too, but I can easily clean the paint with a cotton swab. I applied a thin layer of Vallejo chipping medium on the wood with a paintbrush. Then I paint the rubber with a black acrylic color. Now I can simply imitate the scratches with water. The chipping medium now helps me to remove the top layer. When I am finished with the scratches, I spray the whole cockpit with clear varnish, super clear free. Then I apply the washes. You can use original washes or you can use conventional oil paint diluted with X20 thinner. You can achieve very similar result with both products. I 
I tried the new super fabric seat belts for the first time. It is a crazy stuff. In 1 to 48 scale the belts are very tiny and you must thread straps through the buckles like a real seat belts. I have to agree that they are look perfect, but photo edge seat belts are much easier. The cockpit is still not finished, but this is how it looks before closing. One of the last modifications are wires for the radio station. And of course, I use party for the fuselage. I assume you have some experience with using party, so I just show you a brief demonstration of using party and sending. A good helper is this nail file. I use a small hobby metal file for difficult places. How can I restore pattern on the tires? Simply with a universal razor saw tool. This is the most useful tool after knife you can have. I make bigger holes for navigation lights. I cover them with a transparent epoxy glue. Ha! Tummy I fail. I have a faulty part for the cockpit canopy in the kit. This is probably due to the problem with molding. Luckily, I built the same kit a few years ago, so I used a good part from the previous model. And that is all for this episode. 
I must follow my timetable so that we will meet in the next episode. In the next one, I'm going to definitely need more rivets and colors.